What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here with Rocket Punch Army. Gotta be a little bit quiet, just woke up, it's my day off. I got a bunch of chicks laying in my bed, I don't want to wake them up, you know what I mean? Anyway, this is a great shot from uh, C-A-T Toys or Cat Toys dot C-C. And this is a uh, KO of six shot from the G1 Transformers line. His name stemming from the fact that he can change it to six different things. This makes him the first uh, Transformers 6 changer. And from what I see, he seems to be a very brutal Decepticon. So, Great Shot, or Six Shot, but let's just call him Great Shot from now on since this is the name of the toy here. Uh, like I said, is a KO from Cat Toys, and it comes in this little uh, brown box, right, which we're going to open. Um, you get the instruction booklet here and uh, the sticker sheet here. Um, I haven't added the stickers yet, I will uh, right before I show you guys the um, figure and here is uh, a cool little catalog guys this catalog actually looks pretty cool and genuine except if you really look closely at it you can tell it's scanned but it's really nice that it comes with the set uh, really appreciate that and uh-oh, he's not in here, and that's because he's uh, here off to the side somewhere. But this is what he would come in, I guess, in his uh, vehicle mode. But just so you guys can see uh, how he comes in the box. All right, so we're going to take a look at the figure. Let's put these things to the side. So here's the figure in robot mode. This is the first mode I'm going to show you. I'm going to end with also. Uh, but just so you can really see the figure. And it's not too bad. Um, it's obviously a, a knockoff when you first look at it. The, the plastics are good. They're not, I'm not going to say the cheap plastics, but the mold quality is a little soft and a little strange at some points. There's like little weird dimples going on uh, where the, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, the plastic gets injected and stuff like that, but it, it does seem fairly sturdy. So if you want something that just uh, replicates the look of Six Shot in the background with your collection and doesn't look bad at all, this is not a bad stand-in. So having said that, you'll notice there's no stickers. I'm going to go ahead and put them on so we can really see what the figure looks like with the stickers. And uh, then continue on. Okay, so 30, 45 minutes later, here I am with the um, stickers already added on. The stickers, I have to say, are actually really good quality. None of them started to lift or anything. They, they're not your typical knockoff stickers. These actually stuck very well. They're foil stickers. And the only problem I saw is... These down here were very oversized, and I don't even know if they're on right uh, because the instructions are incredibly small for these stickers here. Look at that, less than an inch uh, for you to see where all the stickers go. But it did seem like that's where they go. All the other ones were easy to find and, and, and um, were sized very well. The only ones that I guess are supposed to overlap are these, otherwise it won't fit in the space. There's two pieces. I'm assuming they're supposed to overlap. That's the only way they're going to fit. But these I had to trim down with scissors to fit in this area. Anyway, so uh, it looks much, much better with stickers. Uh, most of the stickers are to be seen here in the robot mode here on the front. And uh, yeah, so again, this is a six changer. We are going to uh, start off. I don't know who I want to start off with. But I'm not going to do the transformation on a video because this will be a nine hour video. So I'm going to go ahead and get it into the first mode. Alright, so the first mode we're going to check out is Attack Jet Mode. I've already gone ahead and transformed them. Here you can see all the little cool little stickers in, in Jet Mode here that show off. Here's the chrome on the bottom. Uh, nice ratcheted wings right here. All right, it's a soft ratchet, you're not going to hear them. Uh, but it feels nice and solid. And I think it's very cool looking, not too bad. I love the chrome. The chrome is actually done really well. Um, and I've gone ahead and attached the hypersonic blasters, I think they're called. Uh, and that's that's really all this does. This is the second mode I'm showing you. So we got the robot mode, now we have the attack jet mode. And now we're going to move on to the armored carrier, I believe it's called, mode. And this here is armored carrier mode. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an ambitious project for back then, having a, you know, robot that changes into six things. So you kind of have to make compromises here and there. And one of the compromises is just compromise alternate modes. This, uh, I mean, it does okay as a vehicle. I mean, it has a windshield here. It's got the front, but it's just looks like a big jumbled mess to me. Uh, having said that, we are now going to jump into Wolf. 
And this here, guys, is wolf mode. All right. Um, it looks more like some kind of uh, feline to me, but uh, yeah, wolf mode. Woof woof. And his mouth here opens and closes. Other than that, just basic articulation. Got the little claws up front here. Got the little claws coming out in the back there. Uh, yeah. So that's wolf mode. Now we're going to move on to, let's see, who's next? Tank mode. And this is tank mode. I like this a little bit better than the armored carrier mode. It's still a little weird from the back and all. Uh, but from the front, it actually does look like some sort of outer space tank. And the mouth of the, um, the wolf mode actually turns into a little cockpit area right there, which is cool. Too bad it doesn't have a little paint app detail there, but uh, this is tank mode. And the very next one, let's see what the next one is, guys. Laser pistol. And this here, guys, is laser pistol. Uh, you can see the handle right here with the little trigger. And you can go pew, 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 shoot your friends. And, uh, yeah, it just looks like the robot just laying down with his wings down. That's really what it is. But overall, not too bad. I mean, there's six different things it can turn into. And the sixth one, which is the robot, the one we uh, started off with, I'm going to go back into that so we can end this review. All right, so here he is in robot mode, my absolute favorite mode out of all six. And again, not too bad. Uh, I'm, you're not going to expect the same quality as those direct replicas that are, that are out there for G1, but it's it's good. It's it's good enough to uh, stand with the rest of my G1 collection and look good. If you want to pick one of these up, you can go over to tf-direct.com. They made this review possible, and check it out uh, along with all the other stuff they got there. Right and. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, guys, please leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.